It is a great night for pro wrestling in Sacramento with TWF. Tonight's main event features Christina Von Erie versus Brittany Wonder for the Women's Championship. The patron saint of filth versus the ultra girl. It'll be great. And on the agenda, Michael Sean versus Luster the Legend one on one. You saw their confrontation last time. Tonight, they duke it out in the squared circle. Plus, Drake Frost, the force of nature, takes on the man that trained him for this wrestling business. The legendary Northern California Hall of Famer, Big Ugly, J.D. Bishop. As always, the Colonial Theater is jam-packed. Anticipation throughout the room. What a night here in Sacramento. But let me just tell you real quick about our upcoming live pro wrestling events. Saturday, January 28th at Howard's Mystic Saloon in Avery, California. Free show, 4529 Highway 4. Be there at 8 o'clock. Then, February 4th, Modesto, California, Eagles Hall. 126 Camellia Way, $15 for adults, $10 for kids. Start the festivities at 7 o'clock. It's always a great time in Motown. Then March 4th, new venue alert. Eagles Hall, 1492 Bourbon Street in Stockton. Doors at 6, bell time at 7. It should be a great time March 4th in Stockton, the port city. Plus, the 25th. Of March, VFW Hall, Manteca, California at 580 Moffitt Boulevard, 15 for adults and $10 for kids, fastly becoming one of my favorite venues. And all roads always lead to the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. Rio Mania 20, the biggest night in the history of big nights. 3522 Stockton Boulevard, doors at 630, bell time at 7, 20 for adults, 10 for kids, nice even numbers, celebrate 20 years of Real Mania, celebrate the 20th edition of our big one in Sacramento on April 15th. Well, this is the Colonial Theater. We thank all of you for joining us. It's always a tremendous time here. And out steps Abigail Warren, La Bruja. Abigail, always sure of her abilities. Always 150% confident when she steps foot. Abigail has been spending a lot of time in the Pacific Northwest, making waves in the states of Oregon and Washington, back in Sacramento. Uh, there is definitely disdain from this big crowd, from this packed crowd here in Sacramento for Abigail. Abigail brings a wealth of experience, a lot more experience than her opponent here tonight at the Colonial Theater. What a way to kick things off. Big one. And listen to the pop for Lady Lindsay. Lady Lindsay has worked her way all the way up from the bottom. Lady Lindsay, one of the people in life who got into the wrestling business a little bit later than most. Lady Lindsay improving with every in-ring performance. And Lady Lindsay has a monumental task here tonight. Can she beat Abigail? I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Lindsay doesn't even have time to pose on that turnbuckle. Lady. What you think about that, huh? Lady Lindsay gets attacked from behind by Abigail Warren. Starts this thing hot, and Lindsay already clutching her back in pain. Something to rip for your ass right here. Wow. 
You can hear that chop all the way back in West Sacramento. Well, Abigail, look at this. Starting things hot. Abigail, I guess, was pissed off at the reaction. And now it's Lindsay's turn to lay into Abigail Warren. Oh, fish hook the eyeballs and get control back just like that. Abigail is younger in age, but way more experienced in pro wrestling. Shot to the back of the skull now. Illegal in boxing, but legal in wrestling. And as strong as Lindsay is, I'd say Abigail is stronger. Abigail has many advantages, but the one thing that Lindsay has over most of her opponents is just a bigger heart, just a willingness to get it done. Abigail trying to take shortcuts to win this thing. This crowd nearly booed her out of the building, and rightfully so. Both athletes vertical base now, but Lindsay on rubber legs. Retaliation. A couple of shots to the midsection. Oh, and one more to the throat. Abigail takes control back. The snap mayor. Oh no. Oh no. What's coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Abigail mocking this crowd here in Sacramento. First of four big matches here tonight on TWF Rugged, TWF Summerfest from the Colonial Theater. Coming up next, Big Ugly J.D. Bishop versus Drake Frost, Mono y Mono, teacher versus student. We've seen it before. Hammerlock now applied by Lindsay. Our main event this evening features Christina Von Eri versus, no, oh, handful of hair. Features Christina Von Eri versus Brittany Wonder. Women's championship on the line in our main event. And also tonight, Luster the Legend from Impact Wrestling versus main event Michael Sean. So the show is stacked, you know that. Hand across the throat by Abigail. Yeah, yeah. Well, Abigail specializes in those mind games. Abigail specializes in the cerebral abilities of working the crowd and working her opponent, getting under that person's skin. Well, Lindsay avoids the contact. There you go. There's a way to show up your opponent. Belly to belly suplex. Oh, despite the very potent belly to belly, only a two count. Lady Lindsay coming back now, though. Lady Lindsay fighting from underneath after several minutes of punishment. Beautifully done. Well, that right shoulder came out, though. But Lindsay definitely got the attention of Abigail. Now, Lindsay doesn't need to let Abigail recover on the outside. In my humble estimation, Lindsay should be out there not letting Abigail recover from previous punishment, not letting Abigail re strategize and think over things. See, this whole time, Abigail could be rethinking what's going on in the ring developing a strategy in her brain and Lindsay is just letting her. That's a mistake in my humble, humble opinion. Both athletes finally back inside the ring now, but any momentum that Lindsay had might have been thwarted, but maybe not. Oh, one moment of indecision by Lindsay and Abigail runs her over. And now Lindsay recovering, trying to. Oh, you stomp on the hands. It's hard to execute any elementary move, body slam, suplex, etc. with a crushed hand. With a broken hand, Abigail, very smart strategy. See, that might have been that time on the outside that Abigail cooked that up in her brain. Jawbreaker by Lindsay, defensive maneuver. Hits the ropes now. Oh, there you go. Shotgun style drop kick to the chest. Oh, Lindsay body slams Abigail. Here's a cover. 
unable to complete the three count despite the show of power. Lindsay got trucked moments ago by Abigail, but then recovered to slam Abigail Warren. Close, but no cigar. Close, but not a victory. Lindsay able to fight off some heavy-handed blows, heavy-handed offense by Abigail several times in this thing. What a heart and guts and determination by Lady Lindsay. Oh, caught with a cutter. Lindsay flies off the top, caught with a cutter. And what's more impressive, the fact that Abigail catches Lindsay in midair with the cutter, or the fact that Lindsay kicked out. What heart, what fighting spirit displayed. Frustration painted across the face. Frustration showing across the face of Abigail Warren. Unable to finish the deed. Unable to get the three count. Lindsay, definitely, her eyes are glazed over. Lindsay doesn't know where she is. A reversal, reversal. Lindsay wins it. Lindsay wins. Lindsay finds a way. Oh, and here comes Abigail. Had to harbor resentment. What a poor sport here and now. Come on. You got outsmarted for a split second, and that's the kind of sportsmanship you show. What a poor sport. What a terrible display here by La Bruja Abigail Warren. You got out, yeah. You got outsmarted for a single few seconds. Well, Lindsay finds a way. Finds a way to get a win here at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. Lindsay, despite some big time offense by Abigail Warren, despite all that punishment, was able to shake it off, float behind, roll up Abigail, and get what might be the biggest win of her young career here and now. Sacramento Tattoo and Piercing, 2722 X Street in Sacramento, California. You can reach them on the phone, 916-737-8282. The oldest and the best tattoo parlor in all the 916. Belts.com, an amazing place for a very, very, very good deal on pro wrestling customized championship belts. 
The slams of the day are brought to you by All Pro Bail Bonds. You never know when you need a pro. All Pro Bail Bonds, 20 locations throughout California. 141 East Weber Avenue, Stockton, California. 209-507-7560. You never know when you need a pro for a bail bond. It's All Pro Bail Bonds. Next week on this program, you will see one-on-one -on -one for the first time ever, CJ Dirt versus El Flaco Loco, Hall of Famer versus Loudmouth on this program next week, so you gotta tune in. Well, later on tonight, Michael Sean versus Lester the Legend. We saw the surprise appearance of Lester the Legend last week on this program. Match was booked. Plus, later on tonight in our main event for the Women's Championship, Christina Von Erie, the patron saint of filth, versus the ultra girl, Brittany Wonder. And as it stands right now, Drake Frost. The force of nature faces the man that trained him for this business. Big Ugly J.D. Bishop one-on-one -on -one here at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. Well, it's always packed, always a great time at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. Here's a little bit of footage from before. Crowds always lined up to the end of the block and farther to see us. Let's do it. This is the force of nature, Drake Frost. This is the most intense powerhouse in all this area. Nearly two decades. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There's plenty of big men in this wrestling business. There's plenty of big bodies in this business, but none, and I mean none of them, have the intensity of Drake Frost, and it definitely shines through. It's one thing to be really big and think you're too cool for the room. It's another thing to bring out the intensity, to bring out the passion every time you step foot in that ring, and that, my friends, is Drake Frost. This is Big Ugly J.D. Bishop. This is quite possibly the most respected man in all of Northern California pro wrestling. Big Ugly J.D. Bishop achieved so much over the years in pro wrestling, and he also trained guys like John Morrison and Timothy Thatcher for pro wrestling. Your referee for this contest, Referee Bay. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. one fall. Introducing first, in the corner to my right, fighting out of Nabuki Khan Jojo. Please give it up for the force of nature, Greg Frost. <laughs> fighting out of the corner to my left, from Mexican Samoa and representing the Ugly Dojo. Please give it up for Big Ugly J.
Well, the crowd can definitely respect the accomplishments of both these individuals. These men can respect each other, but when that bell rings, it's all about competition. There we go. There's respect right there. Two decades ago, a very young, bright-eyed Drake Frost came to Big Ugly to learn the ins and outs of this pro wrestling business, to learn the fundamentals and oh so much more. Big Ugly trained him for this business, and here we are. It's come full circle two decades later. But Drake, as you can see, bigger of the two, stronger of the two. Ugly uses some leverage, gets Drake in the corner now. Let's get to me Drake, come on. Ugly, come on, one. Two. Oh, there's a clean break. There's a little bit of mutual respect. Let's see who can be the best man on this day. Ugly, very put together, spends a ton of time in the gym, but then again, you got the size of a grizzly bear there, and Drake Frost trying to control, wrist control now. With that left arm, Drake able to cinch on that headlock. When you're that big and strong, even the elementary moves like that sap the strength out of your opponent in a hurry. Ugly knows that. A couple of shots to the midsection to try to get out of trouble, which he does. Oh, and trucked him with that shoulder tackle. And Ugly just got ran over by a Mack truck. Wow. Intensity and power to the 10th power, times 1,000. And Ugly, it might be back to the drawing board. We know he taught him so much two decades ago, but how much has Drake learned since then? How many titles, how much success has Drake had since then? And Ugly, test the strength now. You see Ugly, Trying to dig that head in there, but Drake's just so tall and strong. He's got that left arm and ugly, trying to get out of trouble once again. I think this favors Drake Frost. He's stronger, he's bigger. It's like trying to go toe to toe with the damn dinosaur. There you go, take the big man off his feet. We're all the same height when you're laying down. And ugly, controlling Drake Frost. Drake expending energy, trying to get out of trouble. And ugly knows that. Sometimes, though, Drake Frost will let the moment get to him. Sometimes the emotion of the moment makes Drake Frost leave himself open for opportunities, and Ugly knows that. Ugly cool as a cucumber inside that square circle. I'll miss. And a leg lariat across the face of Drake Frost. Only a one count, but Drake took that leg lariat right across the mush, right across the chops by Big Ugly. Has an opening now for punishment. Wow, what a chop. By J.D. Bishop, the Big Ugly. And the pain across the face of Drake Frost tells the story way better than I could. Referee Ray telling Ugly to get him out of the corner. Oh, he missed. And now it's Drake's turn, laying into Big Ugly with a chop of his own. Well, Drake Frost shoves him up. That camera is about 200 feet away, and you can hear that clear as day. Now Ugly stuck in the corner, Drake. Oh, he's taking that shirt off. Wow! There will be no garments to block the fury, to block the pain of that overhead shot by the force of nature. Big time body slam executed by Drake Frost. When you're that big and strong, the most elementary moves still hurt like hell. Ugly, able to get the shoulders up, but Drake Frost in firm control of this thing. Wow. Of course, coming up next on this program, you will see Luster the Legend from Impact Wrestling go one-on-one -on -one with main event Michael Sean, of course, led to the ring by G-Spot. We saw their confrontation last time we were on YouTube. Tonight, we see the match. 
forearm shiver executed by the big man. And ugly. He needs that corner to stay up. Wow. Shoulder buried into Ugly's anatomy several times over. Drake Frost is big. Drake Frost is strong. What can Ugly do to stop absorbing this big time offense? Oh, well, there's a step in the right direction. Size 12 to the face. Hurricane Rana by Big Ugly under the big man. If there's one guy that can think of a way to take out Drake Frost, if there's one guy that can formulate a plan. It's not too often that anyone. Wow, it's not too often that anyone can take Drake off his feet in that fashion. And that's exactly what Big Ugly did moments ago. And Drake Frost's in trouble. Who would have thought a leaping hurricane runner from the second row would be something to get him back in the ball game? I'd say you're crazy, but Big Ugly found a way to get the job done. Oh, slams his face into the hardest part of the ring there. Both athletes on the outside, referee counting. Wow, and one more for the chest of the force of nature. Big Ugly tosses him back inside where he can beat him. Drake Frost clutching his chest in pain. This crowd is loud. This crowd is into it. There's nothing like the Colonial Theater, and I mean nothing. Oh, looks like he went for some sort of suplex. And that is pure, unadulterated strength right there. Drake Frost able to stop any suplex efforts of Big Ugly and turn the tables in a hurry. Now oh, there's a kick out, but not much of a kick out by Big Ugly. Drake Frost has been chopping away. My name is Jake Sherman. I do the play-by-play -play here in TWF for nearly 25 years. It is an honor and a privilege to bring you some great pro wrestling from the Colonial Theater and towns all over the place here in Northern California. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, running Lariat. Running Lariat and Ugly just got destroyed by Drake Frost. And Ugly kicked out. Wow. I've seen him mow down competitor after competitor with that running lariat. Unfortunately for Drake Frost, it was not enough to get the job done. Big Ugly found a way to absorb the blow and not stay down for three. Again, perhaps. Into the corner goes Ugly. And Ugly sidesteps the contact. Ugly avoids the shoulder of Drake Frost, and unfortunately for Frost, his shoulder went crashing into the ring post. That's his right arm. That's the arm that he uses for that running lariat. That's the arm he uses to destroy his opponent, Stan Hansen style. And that might hinder his chances. Drake Frost's right shoulder into the ring post. Unfortunately for Frost, the ring post is gonna win that battle. And how smart is that by Ugly? Attack the right arm. Attack the already injured arm and shoulder of Drake Frost. You can't lariat anybody. Nobody will be lariated if their shoulder is destroyed, if their arm is destroyed. And that is a sound offense, a sound strategy. Oh, beautifully done. And more punishment by Big Ugly J.D. Bishop onto the arm, onto the right arm of Drake Frost. Well, not much of a kick out there by Drake Frost. Barely gets the shoulder up. He's in pain. Wow, you see that ring move? That was a game-changing moment. And now Big Ugly, his offense has been 100% focused on the arm and shoulder of Drake Frost. 
Into the top turnbuckle goes the much bigger and stronger Drake Frost. He's been a champion many times over, many places, as has Big Ugly. Battle of the Titans here. Battle of two of the very best in this area, here and now. Trainer versus student. We've said it before, but it's true. Oh, there's a lariat. Drake Frost runs across the ring, uses that injured arm to lariat Big Ugly. And Ugly somehow, somehow gets up again. And Drake, Drake's hurt. That arm is dangling there. Oh, what a lariat. And Drake still trying to get some feeling back in that arm. And Ugly kicks out. Too much time between the amazing running lariat and the pinfall attempt. The arm of Drake Frost has got to be injured. He might need some medical attention for that right arm and shoulder area. Big Ugly did a ton of damage to it after it hit the ring post several minutes ago. Drake Frost has not been the same, despite hitting tons of lariats. And Ugly goes down again, but Drake Frost, that shoulder, is just dangling there. And Ugly still, still will not stay down. You talk about heart and guts, you talk about fighting spirit and all those things that make a successful pro wrestler. Big Ugly has that in spades. Big Ugly, despite absorbing all these lariats, uh, it might be time. Oh, what a lariat, folds him up inside out, Drake Frost folds up Big Ugly with a crazy lariat. He kicked out again. How in the world Big Ugly still continues to fight? Big Ugly still. Wow. Despite being folded up like a damn piece of paper, Big Ugly continues to fight back. Oh, good God! Drake wins. Drake Frost absorbs the cutter. Absorbs the ace crusher and lariats Big Ugly over and over and over again till he finally stays down. Drake Frost shakes off an obvious shoulder injury. Both men showed you why they are two of the very best we've seen in this area. What a performance by both. We gotta make sure Ugly's okay here. That was a lot of lariats. That was a ton of big clotheslines from a very big man. We gotta make sure that Big Ugly's 100%. That takes a few minutes, I'm sorry, but we just wanna make sure everybody's safe here. We've got Ray. 
And David Martinez checking on Ugly. Make sure he's okay. Uh, he's moving. That, that's good. He's able to sit up, not so much on his own power, but he, he's sitting up. That, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. These men gave you their souls here tonight. Wow. What a match. I'm, I'm glad Ugly's okay. He's definitely going to need just a doctor to look at and make sure. And here comes Gil. Yeah, the more, the more the better. If we can help him out, make sure that he's okay. That's the most important thing right now. Let's just make sure he's okay. Oh, come on, Ugly. A respect from the people here. At the end of the day, we've all got families. We just want to make sure everybody's okay. Wrestling is fun and we love it. We just want to make sure that everyone is okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That's Paul Isadora. What the hell is he doing here? Come on. Really? Really? Oh, ridiculous. A seven foot monster has just ruined everything. Well, the crowd voicing their obvious displeasure. Paul Isadora just chokeslammed everyone. Disgusting display. Disgusting display by the wrecking ball Paul Isadora. Let's make sure that everyone's okay. Paul Isadora comes in the ring. We're checking on Big Ugly. We were making sure he was all right. Paul Isadora hops in the ring and takes out Drake Frost and Big Ugly. Ridiculous, ridiculous. Moment of chaos here. I hope everyone's okay. That's all that we really care about. At the end of the day, are you okay? Two of the best, right there. Without for you in this building, I would not be here right now. So much respect and admiration.
Country Skillets Restaurant, 1471 West Yosemite Avenue in Manteca, California. The absolutely, positively best breakfast in all the 209 is at Country Skillets. Would you like to have a live pro wrestling birthday party, private party, corporate event, or anything of the sort? You can bring the action to your town. Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com is our email. Email us if you'd like to discuss some business on bringing pro wrestling. Hello, my name is Jake Sherman. I provide the play-by-play, -play, as you already know, as you've known since 1998. But we've got two matches left. Two enormous big ones left to show you from the Colonial Theater. First, Luster the Legend versus Main Event Michael Sean. Has Main Event Michael Sean bit off more than he can chew? Will Luster shut the guy up for once? G-Spot's got something to say about that, and so does Michael Sean. But can Luster the Legend, formerly of Impact Wrestling, finally put an end to this madness? Then, in our main event for the Women's Championship, for the resurrected Women's Championship of TWF, you've got Brittany Wonder on one side. You've got Christina Von Erie on the other side. We're talking the Ultra Girl versus the patron saint of filth for the Women's Championship from the Colonial Theater. This is our Madison Square Garden. This is our best venue, our main event, so don't go anywhere. We are a small business that likes to help other small businesses achieve their goals. Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com, 916-317-9999 to text it up. You can advertise on our various platforms, including this YouTube TV show, or at our live events, or the various small viral commercials that we make several times, you know, move of the moment, slam of the day, etc., etc. Live Pro Wrestling is headed your way on the 28th of January. Howard's Mystic Saloon. It's a free show for ages 21 and over. The venue bought all the tickets. 4529 Highway 4, Avery, California, 8 p.m. bell time. Then, the 4th of February in Modesto. Eagles Hall, 126 Camellia Way. Doors at 6, bell time at 7, 15 for adults, 10 for kids. Always a great time in Motown. And then, brand new venue in Stockton, it's their Eagles Hall at 1492 Bourbon Street. Doors at 6, bell time at 7. That will be on March 4th of 2023. It should be a great time in Stockton to do what we do. And then, back in Manteca, all ages event at the VFW Hall on March 25th. 580 Moffat Boulevard, doors at 6, bell time at 7, Manteca. And then the Colonial Theater, Rio Mania 20, the biggest of the biggest of the biggest on April 15th. 3522 Stockton Boulevard in Sacramento. Get your tickets early, get your tickets often. 7 p.m. bell time, 20 for adults and 10 for kids. Make it linear, make it cool, make it TWF. You should be there. It is always the best, best, best shows are at the Colonial Theater. Well, the Academy is a pro wrestling training institution in Sacramento, California, with an email of nlpwoffice at gmail.com. And the trainer is the egotistical psychopath, Tony Vargas. Also, in Lodi, California, the 209 Dragon's Den trains pro wrestlers with the head trainer of the Angry Dragon, Mike Hayashi, on Wednesdays and Sundays. So there is tremendous pro wrestling training all over our area. Zombie Prevention Company is a licensed and certified vendor at all live TWF wrestling events. They carry a variety of products like board games, replica weapons, CBD products, and oh so much more. So if you come to one of our live events in various towns like Sacramento, Manteca, Stockton, Modesto, and more, bring a few extra dollars for Zombie Prevention Company.
Well, it was last week on this program. You saw the surprise appearance of Lester the Legend. Well, he, in mere moments, will take on main event Michael Sean, of course, the devious G-Spot in his corner. This piece of work right here that has been showered with booze from this colonial crowd is main event Michael Sean. With him at ringside is G-Spot. Last time we were on YouTube, you saw Michael Sean and G-Spot airing their grievances to our commissioner, the outlaw Justin Caden, airing what they think is wrong with this company, why they think he's not getting the promotion, well, he's not getting what he deserves. And then Justin Caton brought out the newest addition to the TWF roster. Impact Wrestling's Luster the Legend surprised everyone by coming out here and confronting Michael Sean. Tonight they meet one on one. There might not be a more arrogant competitor in all of this company than that guy. Former television champion. Former tag team champion. The success speaks for itself. Very gifted. But has Michael Sean and G-Spot's big mouths bit off more than they can chew? You suck. We're gonna find out. This is Lester the Legend. This is a man that has been all over the world. Success current United Wrestling Tag Team Champion with his longtime partner in the Reno Scum, Adam Thornstone. Luster the Legend. We are very, very thankful to have him on the roster here in TWF. And Luster will be doing us an enormous favor if he can shut up Michael Sean and G-Spot here tonight. And Michael Sean on the outside. Come on, get in the ring. Stop stalling. <laughs> well, it's almost time. Oh, come on. Just when I think Michael Sean's gonna stay in the damn ring, he doesn't. The following contest is scheduled for one call. It is the first. Coming to the ring by G Spot. From the biggest little city in the world, Reno, Nevada. Please give it up for the main event, Michael Sean. And your opponent. And the cheers are absolutely deafening for Luster. These people getting under the skin of Michael Sean, calling him a chicken. Well, huh. Your actions speak for themselves, Mr. Main Event. 
But here we go, Lester obviously bigger and stronger. The experience level of these guys is about the same. In fact, they trained together at one time in Reno. Their lives have taken two very different paths. Their philosophies on life have taken two very different paths, but they have ties that track together back in Reno about a decade and a half ago. Oh, well, Michael Sean laying into Lester early. Irish whip, perhaps. Reversed by the big man. Clothesline in the corner, and down goes Michael Sean. All the way to the outside. Licking his wounds on the outside. G-Spot wants a timeout. This ain't the NFL. It's not a quarterback running out of bounds to stop the clock. You are at the mercy of your opponent. Michael Sean clutching his face, clutching his head. Definitely stalling on the outside. But if I was Lester, I wouldn't want to let him be on the outside forever. I wouldn't want to let him on the outside think of more devious things to do, especially if he puts his head together with G-Spot. Finally back inside where we can solve something, where we can give these people the match they deserve. Oh, and he caught it. Michael Sean went for a shot to the midsection. Lester catches him. Reverse atomic drop, and Michael Sean is hurting. And Michael Sean flat on his back. Oh! What a shot by one half of the Reno Scum. And every time Michael Sean tries to put something together, Luster the Legend has an answer for Michael Sean's offense. Double sledge. Drops the elbow. Oh, wait, wait, wait. G-Spot with a hand around the ankle of Lester. Pisses him off, and Lester's chasing G. If he catches him, he's going to knock his lights out. I guess he accomplished his job. Oh, and Michael Sean. Lester was distracted just for a few seconds, and Michael Sean takes advantage. Oh. And once again, though, every time Michael Sean, every dirty, underhanded trick that Michael Sean tries, Lester has an answer. Lester has controlled about 90% of this thing. Headbutt to the black heart of the main event, Michael Sean clutching his body in pain. It might just be a matter of time. What a chop by Lester. There's that power, suplex. Plants the headbutt onto Michael Sean's anatomy. That might have been a little low. But I don't blame referee David Martinez for letting it stand. David has been bullied for months by guys like Michael Sean. That's another story, I guess. Stuck in the corner now. There's some shots by the bigger and stronger Luster. Clubbing blow right on the spine, and Michael Sean screams in pain. And Luster abides. <laughs> The crowd wants one more club to the back, and he absolutely, positively gives it to him. Michael Sean's in trouble. He's ripe for the pickings, in my estimation. Two-handed choke. 
and dumped unceremoniously onto his skull by Luster. Of course, coming up next, women's championship will be contested. Wow, much bigger and stronger. Coming up next, our women's championship of TWF will be resurrected and competed for. Christina Von Erie versus Brittany Wonder coming up next. But as it stands right now, Michael Sean trying to stall. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Lester's got him. Oh, shot blocked by Michael Shaw. G-Spot has been kicked out of ringside by referee David Martinez. Good call, ref. All his underhanded tactics just bit him in the ass. Well, unfortunately for Lester, Well, even though G-Spot got kicked out of ringside, Lester took a chop block. 100% illegal in football, but unfortunately for Lester, it is legal in a pro wrestling environment. Lester gets all of Michael Sean's body weight in a very awkward position onto his knee. Allows Michael Sean to take control. Uh-oh. But maybe not for long. Oh right across the cheekbone of Mr. Main Event. Body slam sends him down, and Luster. Now it can be a fair fight. Now that G-Spot is kicked out of ringside, we got one on one. Oh, runs into the boot. Swinging neck breaker, and down goes Luster. And Michael Sean takes advantage. Michael Sean is thinking top rope. Michael Sean just dipped him on his skull moments ago, and now he's on the top. Oh, plants an elbow. Oh, and Michael Sean getting too cocky in front of this crowd. Big boot to the face by Lester the Legend. And Michael Sean had that combination. He had the swinging neck breaker, he had the elbow, but he got too damn cocky, and Lester made him pay. Uh-oh, placed on the top rope now, precarious position. Michael Sean stuck there. Tree of woe. And it couldn't happen to a nicer guy. Luster the legend digs the boot into no man's land on Michael Sean, and Michael Sean is still stuck, stuck on that top rope. Wow, folds him up. This thing is over, folds him up. Here's a cover. And Michael Sean showing the world how tough he is. He got folded up. Back to live action now. Michael Sean got folded up with that suplex off the top. Luster now controlling things. Michael Sean on rubber legs. 
There's a knee lift. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I'm prettier. I'm prettier. Oh, Lester shoves him out of trouble. German suplex. And Michael Sean finds a way to get out of trouble. Very, very. Potent German suplex moments ago. By one half of the Reno scum, Lester the legend. And now Michael Shaw, oh boy. Oh boy. Modified version of a Cobra clutch there. Million dollar dream. If Michael Sean taps out, it's over. If Michael Sean passes out, it's over. Oh, wait. What? Oh, wait, come on, wait a second. That's Big MF Matt Freeman. That's CJ Dirt. Oh, what the hell are they doing out there? Michael Shum wins? Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to back in for the main event, Michael Shum. And Luster just got cheated. Handful of ring gear. What's this 209? CJ Dirt and Big MF Matt Freeman directly responsible for Michael Sean beating Lester the Legend here at the Colonial Theater. What the hell? Michael Sean just might have got the biggest win of his career here and now. And Luster dives on everyone. Luster is a cheated man, not a defeated man. Oh my goodness. And this is chaos. This is all out chaos. And Lester's going after him. pick up the phone and hear the words I've been arrested been arrested been arrested that's bad news and when you call the bail bond company you got a disrespectful person who didn't make it any better any better any better why should you have to talk to someone who only makes things worse you need a bail bond company that's respectful affordable fast and professional you need all pro bail bonds all pro all pro all pro it's bail done better Call All Pro Bail Bonds, offering affordable payment plans plus military and union discounts. ¿Alguien ha sido arrestado? Llame sin compromiso. Nosotros le ayudaremos. Ofrecemos pagos de acuerdo a su presupuesto. No se preocupe más. Nuestros agentes son amables y profesionales. Llame a un experto. Llame a All Pro Bail Bonds. 
Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash the TWF for all of the information about what's going on in our world. Sign for next week. Big MF Matt Freeman goes mano y mano with the angry dragon Mike Hayashi from Manteca, California, the pub and tap house. It should be a barn burner. Also, as announced earlier, next week on this program, for the first time ever, CJ Dirt one-on-one with the Hall of Famer El Flaco Loco. What will happen? You got to watch this program on YouTube next week. It's time. Main event, Women's Championship. Patron Saint of Filth, Christina Von Eri versus the Ultra Girl, Brittany Wonder. Something has got to give two of the very best to ever come from this area. Do battle here and now. This is Sacramento, California. This is the great, historic, wonderful Colonial Theater. I can't think of a better venue to have this main event in mere moments. It'll be good. Well, when we made the decision to bring back this championship, there were only two names on the list. We want one of these competitors to be the standard bearer. And here comes the patron saint of filth, Christina Bonieri, with G-Spot here in Sacramento, trained in this building for pro wrestling. Trained by the big ugly J.D. Bishop, has had success all over the place, has been in Impact Wrestling, has been in Japan, has been in Mexico. Christina Von Eri has traveled the world, and she is here tonight to leave the building with gold. Ever since this was signed many weeks ago, I've been looking forward to this. Staring across the ring from Von Eri will be the Ultra Girl Brittany Wonder, also trained by Big Ugly J.D. Bishop. Has seen success all over the place in this area. Already the current holder of many championships in other promotions. And it's very self-evident who this crowd wants to see leave the building as the champion. And it's Brittany Wonder. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. We were trying to do some formal introduction, make it special. Give it that big fight feel, of course. 
And Christina Von Erie has no intention whatsoever, no patience whatsoever, and goes after Brittany Wonder. Chuck to the outside. Well, I'm being told in my brain that this is no disqualification. This is false count anywhere. No disqualification. And Von Erie, caution to the wind, soars off the top. There must be a winner. Von Erie goes after Brittany Wonder. There must be a winner. Both of these women were trained by the same guy. Both these women have similar backgrounds. Well, Johnny George, the ring announcer, letting this crowd know it's Falls Count Anywhere. It's no disqualification. There must be a winner. No excuses either way, in my estimation. Headbutt there by Von Erie onto Brittany Wonder. Brittany Wonder, unfortunately, since being attacked to start this thing, has not been able to get out of the blocks, has not been able to get any offensive footing. And Von Erie's been dominating. Terrible. Well, Von Erie is so full of herself, taking every opportunity to try to humiliate Brittany Wonder. Oh, and tossed inside the hard way. See this, Brittany? Since returning to the Sacramento area, Christina Von Erie. Christina Von Erie. Oh, there you go. Brittany Wonder. Modified stunner takes advantage, jacks the jaw of the patron saint of Phil. Snap suplex by the Ultra Girl. And Von Erie trying to get some distance, trying to crawl away. But Brittany Wonder's not going to let her do that. And tossed to the outside again. Von Erie returns to this area. Could have had a hero's welcome. Could have been respectful. Could have appreciated everywhere she's been and everywhere she's returned to. But no, she had to take the approach that she's too good. Oh, goodness. Face first into the table there. Might have hit the ring bell. Brittany Wonder, however, respects everyone. Shows the proper respect to everyone in the crowd. Everyone here at the Colonial. Oh, wow. And now it's Von Erie's turn to take a ride to the inside. Oh. And both athletes back inside the ring now. It's been chaotic. It's been crazy. Uh-oh. Ducks the contact. Modified full Nelson slam there. And Brittany Wonder. Beals her body. Oh, and crushes Von Erie. Only two. One of these competitors, one of these athletes, will win the women's championship at TWF here tonight. Oh, and rake in the eyes, Von Erie gets control back. Questionable circumstances. Oh, come on, really? Really? We got two of the very best in this area, and we got that. We got that leech at ringside trying to influence the decision, trying to influence what's going to happen. Unceremoniously dropped on her face on the inside, and Brittany Wonder clutching her nose. Might have broke it in the process. Retaliates with a kick. And unfortunately, it's been mostly Von Erie since she attacked her from behind. There's a headbutt. Christina Von Erie shoots her in. Reversal. Oh, drop toe hold, and Brittany goes throat first in the second row. And now, Von Erie taking control. Oh. 
Wow, one more blow to the Ultra Girl. There's a reason Von Erie's been successful in Japan and Mexico and all over. Oh, shot after shot. How much can Brittany Wonder endure? It comes down to how much can Brittany Wonder absorb and how much can Christina Von Erie. Oh, and down goes G. There you go. Nicely done moments ago. However, things have changed since then. Brittany Wonder. Handful of hair. Not very scientific, but very successful. There's a kick out by Brittany Wonder. Every time she kicks out, she expends energy. Von Erie knows that. Has to keep her honest. If she wants to leave this building, leave this town with the title. Here comes that. Oh, goodness. Hear that shot back in Canada. Oh, beautifully done. Brittany Wonder dives at the feet of Von Erie and takes control back. Oh, there we go. The stronger of the two, obviously, the more powerful, the more explosive athlete is Brittany Wonder. Taking advantage of that here and now. The more underhanded is definitely Von Erie. Oh, and kicks Brittany Wonder, and down she goes. There's a cover one more time, and Von Erie able to regain control. You saw. Get out of here, bitch. <laughs> well, not only will Von Erie continue to punish her, Von Erie will continue to talk crap while she does it. Shot to the stomach by Brittany Wonder, and then one to the face, buys herself just a little bit of recovery time. Both athletes have been giving you their all, giving you everything. Oh, main event here tonight. I could not think of a better platform to return a women's championship to the programming, to the proceedings of TWF than these two athletes. The list was these two. It had to be these two to decide who's the best around here. Oh. And it's gotten very personal between these two. Last time we were at the Colonial, of course, we were supposed to have this match. But Von Erie took more money to wrestle elsewhere, and G-Spot gloated about it. He negotiated a deal for her to wrestle elsewhere and make more money. Oh! Sickening thud as the body of Christina Von Erie goes crashing onto the Colonial floor. Oh! And both athletes now up on the stage again. Uh-oh. And back up on that platform. And she's choking her out. I believe that's a chain. I believe Von Erie choking out Brittany Wonder with a chain. Oh, and catches one right in the face from Brittany Wonder. That was a chain to the face by the Ultra Girl. Oh, and Von Erie takes a stunt. <laughs> A stump to the back of the skull. You hear G-Spot screaming at Brittany Wonder. <laughs> back to live action now. Both women brawling here. No, 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 oh no. And now it's Britney's turn. Unfortunately, very hard on the stage here at the Colonial. That might have been an energy drink to the face. There must be a winner. No disqualifications. Everything is legal. We must have a decision. We must have a champion. They could fight all night if necessary. Oh, look at that. Come on, G. Really? Uh, and Brittany. Brittany. Von Erie stuck in the center of the ring. Stuck in the center. Austin Crab. And Von Erie somehow muscles her way out of it. Shoulders are down. But not a three. And now it's Von Erie's turn. These athletes have been expending a ton of energy out here trying to win a championship. And now it's Von Erie's turn. 
If we get a tap out, if we get a pass out, it's over. If we get a submission, Von Erie leaves this building as the women's champion. Oh boy. Great fight in the legs now. And using the ropes for leverage. How smart is Christina Von Erie? She knows she can't be disqualified using her environment. And Brittany, much to her credit, gets out of trouble. Now back to live action now. You saw that suplex on the floor. Oh, big boot to the face of Brittany Wonder. It could just be a matter of time. Brittany having a hard time finding that equilibrium and getting to her feet. One more headbutt neutralizes the Ultra Girl by the patron Saint of Filth. Trying to place her on that top rope for something, I'm not sure what. Brittany Wonder, unfortunately, uh, one more chop. I don't like the chances. I don't. Oh, again, I don't like the chances of Brittany Wonder. If Von Erie hits something big and powerful off that top rope, that's exactly what's on the mind of the patron Saint of Phil. Oh, and Brittany Wonder finds a way to get out of trouble. and leaps off the top, takes down Von Erie. And both athletes are on the canvas. They've both seen a ton of punishment. They've fought all over this building. Both women have taken extremely hard, extremely punishing bumps on the outside. Whoever gets to their feet will have a distinct advantage here. Oh, Von Erie's up. And Wonder's up. Oh, there's a clothesline. Back elbow. And Brittany Wonder cooking with some gasoline. Oh, what a shot. Boot to the skull by the Wonder Girl. Oh, so close. So close. Boot to the face. Innovative offense. What offense by Brittany Wonder. Christina Von Erie somehow, some way, finds a way to kick out. Most competitors would have probably been down. But Von Erie is not your normal competitor. There's a reason Von Erie has had so, so, so much in pro wrestling over the years. Oh, no. Oh, good God. Pedigree on the hardest part of the ring, and Brittany Wonder might be out. This thing might be over. And G-Spot screams in disbelief on the outside. Despite absorbing the pedigree on the hardest part of the ring, Brittany Wonder fights back. Von Erie, visibly frustrated that Brittany Wonder won't stay down. Visibly upset. Here we go. Powerbomb, perhaps. Pile driver, perhaps. Reversal. Oh, shot to the face. And Wonder folds her up. Von Erie stuck in the corner. Oh, 
Oh, Von Erie caught her. Von Erie was playing possum. Von Erie hops to the top. Graveyard smash. It's over. Foot on the rope. Just barely, Brittany Wonder. Barely gets the foot on the rope. What a graveyard smash and what an effort to not stay down. And once again, Brittany Wonder finds a way to get out of trouble. Oh, good God! She kicked out. I don't believe it. Christina Von Erie finds a way to kick out. Oh. It's over. What a win, what a match here tonight at the Colonial Theater. And Brittany Wonder finds a way. Oh, you've got company, G-Spot. You've got company. It's El Flaco Loco. And Brittany Wonder just power bombs the hell out of G-Spot. What a performance here tonight. What a gutsy, gutsy win by Brittany Wonder. Had to dig down deep, but found a way to get the job done and take out Christina Von Erie, then take out G Spot. We have a new women's champion. What a night it's been here at the Colonial Theater. I love this place. We all love this place. We love the fact that Brittany just took out G-Spot. Thank you, Brittany, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all for joining us here tonight. We appreciate each and every one of you for coming out to our live events. It is truly a passion.
now. I want to give a special thank you to iPool, you approve all of hearts, uh, custom championship belts.com, and our good friends over at Sacramento Tattoo and Piercing for helping us bring out this amazing night tonight. I don't know what this piece of crap in the ring here is, but hey, whatever. I want to thank you, 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 all of you for coming out tonight and having a, and having a good time with us. Did you enjoy yourselves? Everybody be safe tonight. Thank you and good night. Yeah. <laughs>